Inside Africa, in association with Zenith Bank. For all of recorded history, the arts have both reflected and informed public opinion. Music, art and dance provide us with a universal language that resonates at an emotional level and speaks to our shared humanity. Now a dynamic South African dance group are turning their art form to create awareness on what they see as the greatest challenge facing humankind, climate change. We as creative people and as artists, if we can contribute to try to just make people aware of the world that we are living in. See what happens when creative expression meets civic engagement. What social media has done is that it's connected us with the rest of the globe. And we can now engage in conversations that are not just confined to our own countries, and our own little towns, and our own little homes and, and, and theatres. This is the climate change dance. This is Inside Africa. stage in Johannesburg, a movement has taken flight. The Tribungi Dance Theatre recently joined forces with Washington-based Dakshina Dance Company for three nights of classical-inspired contemporary Indian dance that carried a strong environmental message. The show's main performance, called Pancha Bhuta, puts a spotlight on the ever-looming crisis surrounding climate change. For the show's creator, conveying this somewhat abstract topic through dance was an artistic stretch. When I looked at what can I do as an artist, that is also in a way not making it too heavy in the sense that people don't understand it, but maybe make it in a way where it is understandable through dance and movement, where they're appreciating what you're doing, but the message is not lost. For inspiration, she turned to her ancestors' spiritual past, where the Hindu god Shiva is believed to have manifested himself as the natural elements of earth, water, fire, air and space, respectively. Pancha is five, Buddha is the elements, the world and everything around it. And to make it more personal, it also attaches to our five senses that we have within ourselves. And so when, when it came to doing something around the climate change concept, um, I thought, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? As an artist, you, you have to find that link of creating something as abstract as all of this and to make put it into a production that will be presentable to an audience. South African artists still find themselves at the cutting edge and the forefront uh, of leading the process of transformation. And very often, they are far more effective and far more dynamic than any politician can be. With more than 35 years of theatre experience, Ishmael Mohammed is an industry veteran. As CEO of the famed Market Theatre here in Johannesburg, he's seen how the local arts have been historically linked to broader social justice concerns. I mean, in the 80s, we used it to talk about the black and white issues. Uh, post-1994, we spoke about reconciliation. And then as we moved forward with our democracy, we saw work being largely around HIV AIDS. We've seen work around uh, the issues of corruption. But I think those were all within our country. Uh, what social media has done is that it's connected us with the rest of the globe and we can now engage in conversations that are not just confined to our own countries and our own little towns and our own little homes and, and, and theatres. Yeah, our first step, guys, is going to be like this. Focus. Mohammed believes that groups like Tribungi play a key role in envisioning South Africa's unfolding democracy. Throw that 
The art touches the audiences and the people who engage with it at an incredibly human level. It's not rhetoric, uh, it's not sloganeering, and it's not promises. In a country where pressing issues of unemployment, crime and corruption command attention, creating an awareness around climate change presents challenges of its own. People don't seem to have understood what it's all about. I don't think there's enough awareness about it and what it really means to us, to our survival, to our basic survival. Despite this, her faith in the power of the arts to effect positive social change remains unshaken. You can use theater, you can use dance, you can use music, and you can make people aware. I think it's just not enough that we're doing. I think there can be more that can be done as artists. We can make a difference. I mean, back in the day, we had protest theater. That was the best thing since sliced bread, you know? And so that, that, had it, that made a difference. And why can't we do it now? The Tribungi Dance Theatre's climate change message comes at a time when concern for the Earth and its inhabitants has never been greater. And the US-based Dakshina Dance Company's performance carries a similar message. It's a retelling of spring from a specifically South Indian point of view with obviously our hybrid work in there. And then what's beautiful is that we honestly had no idea what Chaibangi was going to be performing. Creating socially relevant art resonates strongly with members of the Dakshina dance troupe. We've been able to pursue Bharatanatyam under social justice themes. So we undertook themes like sexual violence, gun violence, and different things like that. And portraying that through Bharatanatyam has kind of opened my horizons to explore things beyond what's traditionally done. Shiva begins his eternal meditation, which brings even the cycle of seasons to a halt. It's not that we're going to change the world with a dance piece, but we're going to get people talking. We're going to get somebody thinking that, you know, the next time that they do something like take a shower, maybe it's going to be shorter. Next time they go grocery shopping, maybe they're going to bring a bag. You know, next time they see somebody in the street, maybe they're going to say hi and acknowledge that person. That's what the arts does. It's, it's an opportunity to just get people thinking in a different way. It was just by default that we fitted in so well together because the theme of, of the production was so similar. And it was so heartening to see that as much as we poles apart, we're in different continents, but we're all thinking the same way. We, we're all moving our thought processes towards the same way in the same direction. Coming up. The sights and sounds of Johannesburg inspire a multicultural exploration. Thinking of banking in Africa, think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world, with the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly whenever, wherever, However, a bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch for easy, fast and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People. Technology. Service. Zenith Bank. In your best interest.
Jaspri Mupen is a fifth-generation Indian South African. Trained in classical Indian dance forms, she works with artists from the local Indian and African communities to develop a unique contemporary style. <laughs> Her company, the Tribangi Dance Theatre, is known for its creative fusion of Indian dance with African pansula, Zulu, ballet and modern dance. I wanted to blend what I'm doing and make it more African. I wanted to do that to make, to make the Indian dance more accessible to a wider South African audience. So by doing that, I then started dancing to African music. I, I, I decided, okay, I'm going to do classical Indian dance to African music. Africa, my beginning. Africa, my ending. The way we are and the way we live. I'm from the soil. I'm from the sun. I'm the strongest son of Africa. As we, call, we sing this song, we call upon our ancestors to fight the climate change. It was a lot of learning, a lot of trying out to see how it works, going into the township, speaking to people, trying out things in the townships. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, one, two, three, te, te, the dip, te, te. And it's this mixed heritage that makes Tribangi performances so exciting. Choreographing a new piece is typically an organic and collaborative team effort. Choreography at Tribangi comes naturally because something good might come out of a, a rehearsal or during a class. We have an artistic director who's very, very, has a sharp eye for good things. So she can be able to pick up that, okay, keep this, keep this, we're going to put this together. So she can put, take all the threads and tie them together and make it one thing. <laughs> Rehearsals are a culturally dynamic mix of movement with dancers gravitating towards their own individual preferences. I love using Zulu dance because I found that the Zulu idiom of dance lends itself beautifully to the dance in the Indian classical dance of Bharatanatyam. So for me, I could find a lot of similarities that I could draw on and bring into it. <laughs> How was that? Personally, I like Afrofusion. Because in Afrofusion, I get to be myself. I get to just be, you know, relaxed and just go with the flow. I like Zulu and Pansula because it comes straight from my heart and when I'm doing it, I can feel more tension in me and I can feel people responding to, to what I'm doing in a good way. Mupin says that creating a successful new dance piece for the stage requires much more thought and preparation than just plotting out the choreography. I think when you're choreographing and when you're creating something, one must look at all aspects of the arts and how they interact with each other. And for me, it's not just about just the dance. It's very important that audially, the music that you choose, the costumes that you choose, the jewelry that you choose, it all kind of blends and it kind of complements each other because it is a visual art and one has to create that. A self-proclaimed lover of fashion, Mupin admits that she sometimes finds the performance outfit first and will then craft an entire dance repertoire around that. If I'm sitting in an audience, what would I like to see? What would I like to see when I... Would I like to just see a performance? Or would I like to be, bring something else out within that performance? It's like, it's like a fashion show, actually. And whether it's Nigerian Ankara, Kenyan Katengi, or local South African Shweshwe, she's happy to borrow ideas and fabrics from across the African continent. So the costume that we must wear, it must also brighten people's uh, life at the time when they come to watch the show. So that's what is very, very important. Then at Tribangi, we make sure that whatever we wear looks good with the lighting, it looks good with the background, and it also looks good with our audience. Mupin and lead dancer Ntlantla Zwani make occasional trips to the Rosebank rooftop market to shop for fabrics, props and musical instruments, or just to find inspiration. This is very nice, Ntlantla. It's 
the spit on the oh wow pretty this particular market this? epitomizes what Joburg is all about the you know the colors the contemporary clothes contemporary african crafts that you that you can be exposed to at that particular market i know it's geared for tourists but it's also a haven, a shopper's haven for local people. Going to the market really helps us because it opens our minds on some of the things that we can find. Accessories, the garments that they sold, it's something that you cannot just find anywhere. The market really brings the rest of Africa to you, you know, through its craft, to the fabrics, the beautiful uh, fabrics from Ghana. You get musical instruments from Mali, and you get, um, you know, all the craft things that you don't necessarily, it, that is not South African. And I think that's what I, that is what makes it so unique and so special. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, I like those, very pretty. For Mupen, a leisurely Sunday spent at the market epitomizes the very best of her beloved city. I think it's the whole cosmopolitan vibe of, of Johannesburg that really makes one tick. People say if you get tired of London, then you're tired of life. I think if you get tired of Johannesburg, you get tired of life because there is so much going on. There's cultures that are clashing and colliding and, you know, on a daily basis. Just the Africanness of, of Johannesburg that kind of just resonates with all of us because we're not just born in Africa, Africa's born in us. Next, we go behind the scenes to see how a stage performance comes together. Thinking of banking in Africa? Think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world, with the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly whenever Wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch for easy, fast, and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People, technology, service. Zenith Bank, in your best interest. This one looks empty. What do you think? Dude, stop. What? I got a ring. What are we supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd start running. This, that's my book. Now, gentlemen, okay. hustle! Yeah. Go, go, go. Does your doorbell do that? Ours does. Get tough on crime with the Ring Video Doorbell. Keep your home and your neighborhood safe. Available at ring.com. Your new late night lineup. Get all the perspectives on the news that matters. The lead with Jake Tapper. The brief with Bianca Nobilo. Your world today with Issa Suarez and Cyril Vanier. There's no better way to bring politics and breaking news into context. For 30 years, the Tribungi Dance Theatre has been wowing audiences in South Africa and abroad with its unique blend of African and Indian dance. While dancers come and go, some have been with the company for many years. Many point to the group's diversity as a reason for its longevity. We know where we come from, we know, we know our destination. And as we work in a cross-cultural company, it makes us understand and appreciate one another's cultures. And we teach and we feed off each other. It becomes very, very unique. That's what makes us what we are today. We are a cultural melting pot in the South African arts industry. Okay. 
So South Africa, we have a Heritage Day. It's a public holiday, and it's not just for you to have a day off work, but it's for you to celebrate that heritage with each other because we are so diverse and we're so multicultural. So it's so nice because then we all dress up in our traditional clothes, we bring our food, and we celebrate together. And it's a lovely day, it's a lovely feeling because now you are really getting in touch and you're connecting with each other. <laughs> <laughs> the group's artistic director credits this level of familiarity and comfort built up over many years for the group's on-stage chemistry and easy working relationship. And five, six, seven, go. One, two, three. This sense of trust comes in handy when pulling together a major stage show. Once the choreography is done, the dancers can perfect the moves on their own. Ah, that's so nice. Leaving Mupin free to focus on the bigger picture. For Pancha Bhuta, the climate change dance they created this year, these ancient art forms get a modern spin. We're doing an age-old art form. How do you bring that up to speed to what is happening now? How do you make it contemporary? How do you bring it to where we are now in the 21st century? So we've got the tree mm -hmm. that you guys had from last yeah, year, and right. then we're just going to add another little dimension to it. With Chabangi, they came with pre-existing choreography and all we needed to do was just add in some graphic elements to it. So there was a, a, a nice process because of the fact that all you're doing is accentuating a lot of the movements and uh, you can really, really create some lovely effects when doing it this way. Bring your hands up and hold, relax your face. It's opening night. The costumes are ready, the rehearsing is done, the mood in the dressing room is calm and focused. When you're getting ready, part of the ritual of getting ready, putting on your makeup, all that is to calm you, to calm your nerves, because you definitely have those butterflies. It's a kind of a meditation in a way, and it's very necessary to have the butterflies. If you don't feel anything, then that performance is going to be lackluster. Really lift through those shoulders. Exhale into your forward bend. In the rehearsal room next door, the Dakshina Dance Company are warming up in their own way. It's a big night for them too, for most the first time performing on a South African stage. The show opener is a solo performance by Dakshina lead dancer Rachel Prem, a lullaby for Lord Krishna, the god of compassion, tenderness and love in Hinduism. I'm super passionate about modernizing Bharatanatyam because it is one of the oldest forms of art, but there's such a beauty in bringing it to the present day because it is a storytelling art and the more that we can share with people in a way that they'll understand, it's just such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Next up, Tribangi present Pancha Bhuta. It's the first time all the elements are performed in front of a live audience. So people see the, the final product, which is so beautifully polished and presented so beautifully to an audience. But one doesn't see all the franticness that goes on behind the stage. So it, it's quite a frenetic energy that you experience behind stage? It comes with challenges, because sometimes you exit this way, you have to enter the other way. Uh, you have to run like there is no tomorrow and change and come on stage. The 
two dance companies joined forces for the final performance, an Afrofusion dance choreographed by Mupin. It actually brought the companies together to, to kind of, you know, really connect and to communicate and just hone in on each other and share whatever their experiences are with our dancers, which is always very important. Mupin's experience here has strengthened her belief that art can connect cultures and engage us, and she hopes this work will play some small part in inspiring others to make a difference. I would like to see us collaborating within the African continent much more than we are doing at the moment because I would like to see us dancing to one drum beat and singing with one voice. Inside Africa, in association with Zenith Bank.